So Pig King, the ultimate resource for gold in the Don't Starve universe. But would you trade the infinite gold of Pig King to have Hound Immunity and four infinite light sources? I figured out a way to. I'll show you how in this episode of DST. Bonk. So since the year of the pig event, the pig king was given a little mini game you can play for gold. It's actually a pretty good gold generating event. To start this event, you need to find a pig man in the world that has a belt. These pigs have a really small chance of 1% of spawning, but eventually you'll find one. Kill it by any means to get the belt. You will then give this belt to the pig king. He will spawn four guards to fight with. You don't fight normally with these guards, but instead it's a scramble to get gold. After some time, the pig king will call off the event and everything will be back to normal. But there is an interesting thing about this event. The event will never stop if the pig guards are away from the pig king. So that means you can abuse this event for certain things. When the event is going on, no hounds will spawn. The hound waves will still get harder with day count, but you can skip hound waves using the event. So with this knowledge, if we figure out a way to extend this event, the world would be safe from hound waves. And you're already watching this video, so you probably already know that we found a way to extend the event. As you can see, the event is still ongoing if the pigs are not close to the pig king, or if they are actively trying to capture gold. Because of this, you can trap pigs forever by just putting gold behind a wall. Because the world still thinks that the event is going on, hounds will never spawn. And you can keep this going because the pig guards actually just do not unload. Secondly, a thing you can do with this is that these pigs are immune to all types of damage. So a thing you can do is bring a slurper to them and have the slurper latch onto the pigman. A slurper would normally damage creatures it latches onto, but as you can see, it does not do damage to these guard pigs. That means you can use these guard pigs as an infinite light source, as well as hound deterrence. The only thing that breaks this though, is if the server stops. So it may not be good to try this on a world that will be consistently getting relaunched, like a solo world, but it could work for quite a while in a dedicated world. What's interesting is, you can actually move these pigs anywhere you want if you bait them with gold. I thought it would be possible to telelocate them, but the pig cards just spawn back where they were. This does not happen when you lure pig guards away. It only happens when you attempt to telelocate, which is interesting. Once you get the pig guard where you want, you can trap them with a small wall using a mole worm to push the pig through. And once they get their gold, they'll be much quieter. If you want to have Pig King back to being tradable, you can relaunch the server or let the pigs get back to the Pig King so that the Pig King could be tradable again. Honestly, I think the only hard part of this is getting the Slurper and the Belt, which is a 1% chance for Pigmen. But honestly, even though it'd be a fun, interesting way to light up base and also protect the world from hounds, it would affect everyone in the world because Pig King would become unavailable. I really found this interesting though. And while you can, try this out on your own worlds and see what designs you can make. Or maybe you can try them on mine. Yep, you can now join the official DVG DST servers. I hope to see you all there. Until next time, take care.